conveniences like slide projector, air conditioner, smart TV, high-end CCTV, and comfortable room, of course. And not to mention, you will be assisted by some friendly staff of ICAO. The International Class Service Office is located at Geka U 9th floor with service hour from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Students can visit to the International Class Office for several purposes such as change of schedule, complaints about damage and feedback for services and lecturers, lending lecture support facilities and equipment, taking the certificate, reporting lost item, and consultation regarding programs organized by ICHAO. International class lecturing activities are centered in the Tokong Nanas building, or also known as GKU, where lecturing process for international class students are on the 9th and 8th floor. So on the 9th floor, there's a U-shape with smart energy technology classes, and on the 8th floor, there's an editorium with capacity of 100 people. We also have a student launch for students, a lecture launch, and also a global launch that can be used by lecturers and students. International class also has a yearly two-week credit earning program, which is also known as Global Learning Week or in short, GLOW. So during this program, lecturers from Dalcom universities and professors from universities in abroad collaborate to give us a better understanding of a subject in our academic course. Glories also have sharing session on international exposure programs and open discussion on travel documents. And lastly, there is also services like consultation and writing tutorial. Salutations to everyone who is watching this video. My name is Bafia and I study here at Dalcom. So I've had amazing two years over here and hopefully and fingers crossed it's counting. So two years ago, flashback, I had no idea that Dalcom Group even had a university. And the next day I was already sitting at the international office asking for free details. And uh, I think if you ask me why I choose Telcom, then I think it's because uh, when you're deciding to pursue your higher education, for example, your bachelor degrees, you want a place where you feel homely and you feel belong that. So I think this is also one of the main reasons why I picked Telcom. And moreover, I agree that international classes can be very challenging, especially when you come from a background where such teaching style, you know, 100% uh, completely English, use of English is quite missing. But then we also agree that that um, you can find obstacles and barriers no matter where you go but then ex exposures and opportunities they can only be found at Dalcom and I think this is it this is why you should Dalcom for what it's worth Hi, I'm Aviana Hermawan and I major in Business Administration in interna International Class The reason why I chose Dalcom University because I want to pick a competitive university and I am from Australia, I grew up there and the reason why I choose the program is because I want to be an entrepreneur when I graduate. So I think you should pick Telkom University because it's in Bandung where it's very social. So come and join me. Hi, my name is Sasa. I am from International ICD Business. I am as the part of Student Volunteer Batch 1. Student Volunteer help ECAO to organize activities held by ECAO for international class students. Help as the committee, the other and another activities such as workshops and competition. And for your information, there will be an upgrading once a year for student volunteer next batch. All of the opportunities I'm getting myself into, all of the people I've met during the three years of study here that taught me lots of things about life, about friends, about college in general is something that I would never forget. So if you guys ask me, that is my answer. We will continue to support your achievement with a variety of academics and non-academics program and activities that will enhance your hard skill and soft skill. Okay guys, I conclude by offering you some simple advice 
for how to make the best of your experience here at International Class of Telkom University. Share your knowledge and skills, don't keep them to yourself. Challenge yourself and your peers on a daily basis. Embrace one another's passion for children, education, communities policy and practice. Observe everything and above all, have fun. Best of luck to each and every one of you. Thank you. Alright, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Shalom, Om Swastiastu, Namo Buddhaya Good morning ladies and gentlemen My name is Hilda Zulfa Hayuni And it is my pleasure to welcome you here today I hope you enjoyed the time And I would like to thank you for joining us today For closing ceremony International Creativity Competition 2021 and International Webinar International Class Academic Office ICAO Takam University presents ICC as an annual competition that will strengthen the creativity of diploma and bachelor students from any major with the theme, Creativity Without Limits. Ladies and gentlemen, it would be better if we start this event by listening to the national anthem, Indonesia Raya and Mars Takam University. Come to the first city. 
Satukan tekad bersama padukan langkah Bawa bangsa menuju garis depan Raih cita raju asasin singkat lenang Tingkatkan inovasi tunggu dan berjelasasi Semua demi keluburan bangsa Masyarakat hadir bangsa sejahtera Laksanakan pendidikan dengan semangat pengabdian Ciptakan kehidupan gemilang Jagong University kebanggaan bertibi Maju dengan karya berperan bagi bangsa Bagi Indonesia, bagi dunia All right. To begin the closing ceremony today, here is the report from Assistant Manager of Graduate and International Class, Mrs. Jot Irna. The floor is yours. Thank you so much, Master Ceremony. A beautiful one. So, good afternoon, everyone. Um, good afternoon, our Director of Graduate Studies and International Class. Good afternoon, our Manager. Ibu Dr. Ira, good afternoon uh, judges, good afternoon participants, and good afternoon everyone. Stay healthy and stay creative, of course. Uh, I'm sorry, Ko. at the end. <laughs> okay, this is my report. Well, actually, everybody have know about International Creativity Competition 2021. This has become our annual competition in Telkom University, and it has to conduct it and open for all university students from all around the world. So everybody can join this competition. Well, actually, this year, we just concern on two kinds of category, um, such as newscasting and also photography. For those who have a talent, a skills, and capability in delivering news, this is really sweet for you. And we can see who is actually the nominee and also who is the winner. And for those who really like to take a shoot, uh, looking for an angle, and also really love uh, new objects and anything in photography, and this category also sweet for you. And every year, we guarantee that International Creativity Competition will conduct it every year, conducted by uh, International Class Academic Office, Telkom University. Last year, maybe we have several categories, but this year, we just concern on two categories. Well, this year, we have so many participants from all around the world, actually, from uh, our own university, from Chitkara University, Indonesia scale or Indonesia area, and also board of uh, another country out of Indonesia. And also, as you can see in here, even from a military institute of science and technology, but it's not talking about military right? And also from uh, Solbridge International School of Business. I have sent an uh, invitation, uh, invitation from our email to our university partners around the world, in, include Solbridge, uh, Hanya, Monish, and anyone that I know as the representative of international office of every university. And also my team have posted in our website and social media and of course in our main page of our university website around a month ago they are they are submitted and also the registration period and after that at the beginning of june we are going to the evaluation or the scoring period for all the newscasting and photographic uh, category there are 82 portal in a photography section from Indonesia, Bangladesh, India. Thank you, India. You are really enthusiastic to join this competition. And also from the South Korea, Morocco, Australia, Pakistan, Taiwan, Nigeria, Malaysia, and also Ghana. Thank you so much for all your masterpiece and also your creativity works. And there are also 16 videos of newscasting 
from Indonesia, from Australia, from India, Pakistan, and also from Bangladesh. Of course, it delivered in English. And I don't know why that Indonesia is really good in English and can have a good uh, uh, capability in delivering news. Of course, it looks like a very professional. I watch all the video, yeah? They say that, good morning viewers, this is ICC TV or ICC News. Yeah, I think you are really good and also you can deliver in news very well. And as a total, for the participants, there are uh, from Indonesia, from India, from Pakistan, Australia, Bangladesh, Nigeria, and also from Malaysia and Taiwan. And there are, as a participants, there are 65 participants. Uh, I know the number is decreased than last year. Maybe last year we have uh, storytelling, if I'm not mistaken, storytelling, newscasting. And what else? Uh, animation, if I'm not mistaken. There are so many interesting uh, masterpieces and also creativity works. But that's a matter. Uh, we will still consistent to conduct this international creativity competition just only for you. And thank you, judges. There are our judges, internal Telkom University and also external. Thank you so much for our uh, guest judges. Uh, Dr. Muhammad Ashik from University Science Malaysia and also Dr. Ashik will also deliver a short of inspiration or insights about photography. And thank you so much, Ibu Ira, our uh, judges also, Ibu Dr. E is also our judges and also another judges. You have concern to give a score, evaluation, insights, and also you have spare your time for all the participants. And today we will announce who is the winner of every section of competition. And this is, and that day, yeah, this is closing and also for announcement. And there will be also an international guest speaker webinar from Dr. Ashik um, talking about art in photography, but maybe bored of that or maybe uh, another perspective from Dr. Ashik. So the last time, thank you so much, all participants. You're really uh, creative and also you have a good enthusiasm. I don't know why when I see all the photography or, or all the picture, all the photo is really, uh, there is one picture make me, oh my God, so sad uh, because we have a very special topic for photography, life around us. It means that you show the real life around you on the picture. And I can see from all around the world that the condition, for example, in India, for example, like from in Malaysia, uh, what happened now in, in there. So thank you so much, all participants. Good luck and wish you all the best. Hope you are, for me, you are all the winners, but we have to announce which one is number one, number two, and number three uh, for the winner. So thank you so much, participants. Love you all. Stay healthy, stay productive, and stay creative. Thank you. Don't forget to join our next International Creativity Competition 2020. I think that's all. Back to you, MC. Thank you so much, Mrs. Jut Irna, who have made outstanding reports and speech. Now, we are pleased to invite Director of Postgraduate and Advanced Learning, Takam University, Mrs. Dr. E. Is Kurnia Nurhayati. The floor is yours. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Mbak Hilda Zilfa. Okay, uh, okay. Honorable guests, Dr. Muhammad Asik bin Matisa, a lecturer from USM, and also judges, and all participants. Sorry, can you hear my voice clearly? We can hear well. Oh, okay. okay, thank you, Dan. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, everyone. It gives me a great pleasure to participate in the final and closing ceremony of the second International Creativity Challenge and International Webinar Creativity Without Limits, organized by International mm -hmm. Class Academic Office or ICAO Telkom University. Due to the COVID-19 outbreak, again, this year's International Creativity Challenge competition is being held online, which is a rewarding attempt for sure. I believe that although the epidemic has altered the way we meet and communicate, 
it didn't change the enthusiasm of all the participants. Okay, based on the report of Ms. Chut Irna. At this outset, I would like to give all the contestants a thumb, a thumb up, and a special thanks to the committee and judges who actively organized the competition during this special period. We appreciate your hard work and strenuous efforts in advocating this creativity challenge competition. With excellent performances, all of the participants prove that everybody is the winner. Okay, participants, it's been more than a year. The coronavirus disease pandemic is influencing our lives in an enormous and unprecedented way. Nevertheless, many researchers have explored the COVID 19's lockdown consequences for creativity activity. Do we think or act creatively to the same extent to prior to pandemics? Does the combination of uncertainty and danger caused by the pandemics make us more or less creative? In other words, can the situation caused by COVID-19 motivate and drive individuals to produce something creative? Apparently, okay, indeed you are, the young generation are very creative still very creative okay that's why we the icao holding the international creativity challenge and also the international webinar to answer the questions about okay i want to express my deep gratitude to all our honorary judges who have evaluated and analyzed the works of the participants i'm sure that choosing the winner from all the participants was a difficult choice as all the students performances or masterpiece were tremendous because I'm also one of the judges, and it was uh, all the uh, masterpieces of the participants are outstanding. I congratulate of all participants for contributing in this prestigious, prestigious competition, and I give my best wishes to them for the results of the award ceremony. The results will be out soon, which uh, will be announced by the committee, of course. Okay. Uh, and lastly, I want to express my big thanks to the committee who have organized this event. Thank you very much indeed, Ibu Ira, Bu Chut Irna, and all the team. And not to mention, thank you to the keynote speaker of today's webinar. We have an incredible gathering of diamond talents assembled in this room today. Let us use all these potential sources and enjoy the webinar. I think that's all. Thank you very much. Back to the MC. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you so much, Mrs. Dr. Is Kurnia Nurhayati, that has given us a warm welcome and encouragement. In this happy atmosphere, let's capture the moment by turning on the camera for those who haven't turned on and give your best pose. You're taking a picture. Okay, maybe I'm going to count. One, two, three, smile. Okay, maybe next pose, more lively. One, two, three. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Everyone is beautiful and looks enchanting today. Thank you for giving your best smile. And moving right along, it is now my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. Dr. Moh Ashik bin Matdesa, lecturer of School of the Arts University, Saints Malaysia, US and Malaysia. Mr. Dr. Moh Ashik bin Matdesa is one of the judges of ICC 2021 photographic category. And now he will help us to better understanding the meaning of art in photography. Mr. Dr. Moh Ashik bin Mat Desa, the floor is yours. Assalamualaikum and good afternoon to all participants in this talk session. Uh, thank you, MC. <laughs> so you can hear my voice, right? We can hear it. All right. Absolutely oh, good. <laughs> all right. Um, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Thanks to the Telecom University for inviting me to give a presentation about photography today. Uh, I miss so much Indonesia. I miss uh, Bandung. <laughs> uh, I miss all the food there. <laughs> Almost two years I couldn't get there because of the pandemic. Uh, 
right? Uh, but Alhamdulillah, we can still manage uh, meeting in the virtual world like this. All right, uh, before starting this afternoon session, I would like to congratulate all the winners of the photo contest. Many of the world I can see are very good and talented. Cong congratulations to Talcom for successful organizing this competition. My topic will this afternoon will be uh, about art and art in photography. I will share thought my I will share through my experience the world of photography based on the field of design and where it's my expertise and personal expression. So uh, if you don't mind, I can share my slide. So, so everybody can see the slide, right? Okay. Uh, most of the slide is all is about uh, image. Right? I will try to share my experience uh, taking the photography and the philosophy behind that. So the topic is art in photography, approach to personal expression, intuitive composition. All right. How to deal with a great photography photo? All right. Uh, first, we need to know the art direction. All right. Hold on. Uh, where is the focus? Right, the direction is the essential tool in any visual communication project. It's the way in which we build a particular aesthetic for a purpose. A direction is about presenting content to a group of people by creating communication-based experience. So this is what a direction means. And what is in a direction? The first one, the first tip is understand your idea, right? Uh, I believe that photography based on the competition, I can see a lot of uh, work coming from the fine art uh, design aspect. So a lot of... Uh, a food, so it's a lot of uh, angle in photography. But first, you have to understand your idea. Spend a time up front learning about your concept, your aim for that photo. Really dive deep and get it there. Understand the initial story, message, and specific idea of your photo, right? And then the second one is plan a shoot. Yeah? Shoot is, is one of the very first steps in making the project to come to life. Looking for the best shot, spot to shoot, gear and possible shoot shot uh, to deliver a good outcome so before we we have an idea in mind or probably from sketches then you have to plan right? uh, based on the gear be off based on the location so you have to prepare that right? plan it before you shoot because sometimes you involve the model right and then if you're uh, dealing with model dealing with the company or product uh, so you need to plan uh, carefully right research and still like an artist which is uh, how to get the inspiration, right? Pinterest, Behance, and other social media platform are a great site to gather inspiration for the new creative vibes. Consequently, it can push uh, the creative by taking the project a step further and the example to consume on the web. So now is the era which is you can get easily all the inspiration, get the example of the photo that we need to create, right? So we, we can get the inspiration from there. Uh, perfect location, of course. Try to get each hidden gems around the place that at the time of day that wanted to do the shoot. Took a photos from the crop, from the phone crop to the ideal look for each location. So if you have a photo, uh, cam now everybody have a camera, so go to the uh, uh, specific location, try to get from the angle of your phone. So you can, you can plan your shoot, you can plan all the element uh, surrounding there, right? Right. If you're dealing with model, to get a perfect model based on the initial research, identify the aesthetic in the model. So I'm not really good in uh, looking at a good model, but normally I I understand uh, how the if if I uh, shoot a product, so I know what uh, which type of model which is suit with the uh, concept. Right. Knowing your lighting, uh, photographing people, food or objects. Right. Everything looks better with the great lights. As the sunrise and set, it casts a beautiful, warmly lit glow on the subject. Direct sunlight can be harsh and create shadow and even lighting. So I will show you the, the example of the photo, which is using the lighting. And some of the photo, we need the harsh light and we need a shadow to enhance the image. Right? For the outdoor shooting, make sure prepare the additional light to produce a good quality photo. Right? 
And then the last one, make it re relatable. The goal is to capture a, can a candid shot. Uh, things need to be look organic. Okay, need to be look organic. No need to create a, a, it's, a it's a scripted, uh, 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 specific uh, 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 deal post with that. Right, relate the subject with the theme that you aim for. Right, so this is like the important part in how to make it more interesting, uh, interesting uh, image. Right, based on the the uh, the photo in this competition, the the image really good, but the 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 uh, rational uh, in the caption, rational in the artist statement is really not uh, bland with the photo. So this is probably the uh, uh, based on the experience, based on the exercise, you can get uh, uh, to 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 create better for the next time. All right, the aesthetic. So this is the 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 one of the big. Uh, things in, in photography so but it's a subjective right so there's a lot of perspective uh, it's very subjective uh, to value the the image the photo right the first one is image quality and great photos of course a lot of factor different perspective uh, some some say that some prefer film some prefer digital and sometimes uh, sorry from phone you can see the big banner using the phone quality photo right so the, the, it's very subjective and depends on the people uh, imperfect photos are more beautiful, right? Sometimes we create, we, we snap uh, imperfect uh, photos, but sometimes it looks more beautiful because they are drawn like in our memories, right? So this is like the other aesthetic uh, in the photo, right? Aesthetics are ethics. The aesthetic we decide to adopt are based on our ethics, our personal belief and what we concern as beautiful or value and positive utility to make to ourselves. Uh, if you coming from Indonesia, so the aesthetic will be different because based on the ethics, based on the culture. If you're coming from in India, Pakistan, it will be slightly different because of the ethics, because of the culture, right? So it's very subjective for the aesthetic, right? Philosophy of aesthetic and beauty, beauty in photography. Right? Which means everything we create and design uses the human being is is the as the ultimate judge of the beauty when we think about a car design fashion object versus architecture we are essentially modeling our idea of beauty after the human body so the first one is a body and after that the other 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 model other things right aesthetic in photography when we talk about image quality we really means to talk about aesthetic make photo which inspire and motivate other to make their own photos to move to move to move more and to live, create, dream more. So this is one of the aesthetic which is we inspire other people, right? And the other one, the last one is aesthetic, strengthen, simplify, and focus. Everyone, aesthetic choices are different, but uh, strive to occupy an environment or design an environment which fit your aesthetic taste. To preserve you, to help focus you, to concentrate you, to strengthen you. So uh, there's different meaning of the aesthetic in photography, all right. And the next is uh, art composition, right? Uh, if you understand about the uh, aesthetic, you understand about the uh, uh, photography, then we need to, to, to know about the art composition. My background is from design, but I really relate with the design and art as a composition in art, my photography. Composition, how the element of a photo are arranged. A composition can be me, me made up of many different elements or only a few. It's how the artist put those things within a frame that help a photograph become more or less interesting to view, right? So we can, uh, there's uh, some tips uh, on uh, how we manage to compose all the photos, okay? And then after that, before we go to the, the, uh, all, the all the tips, all the elements, all the principle, um, we, we need to know the, the arts of visual storytelling because all the photo uh, have their their own different have the different uh, storytelling right photography is a visual language as it any other language is important to understand its structure and vocabulary in order to express yourself and communicate effectively the more fluent you become the more playful experiment you can express yourself creatively so uh, based on your experience based on your exposure you can create more and more uh, image which is everybody can uh, you can express more and then you can uh, make make the photo more creative based on your uh, intuitive your your own perception right and then people might understand after that based on your stroke of your photo 
All right, the first one is the element of art. This is what uh, uh, I keep on practice when I do photography. The first one, texture, line, color, shape, form, tone, and space. So this is basic element of art. Uh, there, there will be more, but I, I just only cover all these things because uh, in a short uh, uh, duration time. So I just, I just get the, the basic one for, for everybody here. All right, the texture, line, color, shape, form, and uh, tone, and space, all right? Uh, this is after this all the slides uh, come with the the, the image all right, to understand all right the first one is texture to create to compose uh, for me my experience I use a texture as an element added in the in the photo or composition my composition so you can see that the meaning of texture if you can see that uh, the, the thing that I highlight in a circle is a texture which is represent uh, element. Uh, as an added value in the photo, in the composition, right? This is the next uh, uh, texture uh, element. So we can we can consider as a is our composition, and then probably you can place your model or subject uh, in front of the texture, right? This is another texture. Uh, this is another texture. So we can see that uh, uh, different texture give a different. Uh, different uh, feeling about the photos right and then the second one is line right? and the next is a line you can see that even if it's a small line uh, we give different impact uh, in edit edit value in your photo right so this is a line so you can you can compose you can place your model uh, or your subject any kind of subject and uh, in front of the uh, line right this is also the line you can see that uh, the 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 main focus is on the that man uh, across the 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 the, the screen. But uh, if you can see that the added value of line will will give a different perception of the photo as an added value, right? This is oh, uh, I believe this is the wrong. This is supposed to be in color, right? Sorry, never mind. Uh, we'll talk about this later. This is color about color. You can see the color is is part of the element. Uh, in the composition, All right? This is the color, right? So color uh, in the circle uh, based on the composition, uh, the color is very outstanding uh, for the composition. This one also the colors. Right. Okay, colors. We will highlight more in your photo. Right. That's an element uh, to add, add in your photos. You should consider. Uh, when you do the, the uh, other action. All right, and then this next one is shapes. The another element is shapes. Uh, in the circle, you can see that uh, using the technique of silhouettes uh, to create the shapes, okay? Uh, so they will give uh, different moods in that uh, photo. Uh, you can see that the shadows coming from the uh, that building, so it will give a different mood, uh, shade, and then different uh, feelings about that. This is another example of shapes uh, using a silhouette. And that form, uh, you can see that the, that building uh, is a, a part of a form element in the composition. All right, this is the form of the building. You can see this. It's another uh, form, another element. Uh, you can see that the, the form between uh, between buildings, All right? Uh, it's a product uh, photos, photo product shoot. It's a uh, coffee, and it's a, it's a part of the. Of course, definitely we need to uh, to shoot products and and then form we need to show in the image. All right, and then tone. What is tone? Yes, tone is about. Uh, we can see the, the different tone, different colors, uh, different value in the image. So you can see that uh, from far uh, until to the, the, the uh, rocks, we can see that the, the different tone in this composition. That's all right. This is also from shadow to highlight, uh, we can see the tone, different tones. Uh, this is also different tones. We can see the lights and the shadow. So consider it's an element in uh, arts for the composition, photographic composition. Uh, this is the 
another another value of a tone you can see that the reflected light light shadow edge uh, cast shadow highlight and shadow core so it will give a different mood different different perception different value of photography and then space another element is a space so you can see that space really important uh, to create a mood to give a different view for the uh, the audience all right all right, this is also space. You can see that the arrow shows that the space, uh, uh, foreground and background. This is also give a different different mood, different feeling about uh, the photo uh, space. You can see that uh, the, the the range of uh, uh, building and the stairs. This is another. Uh, space element using so you can see the foreground and the background right how we compose the the image and then uh, the main is the main thing is an uh, objective what we're going to present in that photo uh, now it's real, much easier because uh, it's a digital if you don't like it you can delete it but uh, using if you're using film you need to compose uh, uh, very carefully because it will, it will waste your film, all right? Uh, this one also, uh, so you can see the foreground, the, the background, and the subject in the middle of that. So it's a part of the composition, which is the subject placed uh, in between the foreground and the background, right? So you can see the space. All right, the next is the principle of art and design, all right? The first one is framing, uh, frame within the frame, <coughs> sorry. Horizontal line, pattern, shadow, sense of scale, and symmetry. Right? There's a lot of uh, there's another principle of art uh, uh, we can implement in our composition, but I just only focus on this thing because uh, this is what uh, the most uh, technique or tips that I, I use for for the photos. All right. Uh, this is framing. We can see that uh, how the building itself. Uh, be part of the framing so we can see that the, the, the idea is try to see to focus specific areas that we need to be we need it to be in the in the composition photo right so this is the framing technique uh, right so this is framing right next is uh, this is also the framing uh, based on the coach in the in the train so uh, the, the 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 actual image try to show uh, people outside the train so the different you can see that the the framing uh, style all right next is also this is also frame, framing using a shadow uh, using a um, shadow uh, and harsh uh, of the lights outside of the building so we can see that the different that it, it also can, can consider as a framing this one also a framing you can see that uh, the highlight the the image is highlight more on the specific focus on the escalator so uh, use the, the the part of the building as a as a uh, frame technique this one also frame framing right to focus on the the next building uh, use it use the arch for 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 as a framing technique so both pictures this is two different picture All right this is also using arch as a as a, a framing technique to show uh, what's happening uh, the the background of the composition All right this is also a framing technique for for uh, if you place the the model or the subject so you can see that uh using the the uh, props on the spot and then we create a framing for that all right and then the next is a horizontal line all right this is important to uh, psychologically it will help the audience feel uh, pleasant viewing your 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 photos all right so horizontal lines is really important uh, make it more even is really uh, important for the for the photos the quality of photos all right so this is the horizontal line uh, we need to make it more 
uh, straight, eh? more balanced. Right? Contoh, contoh. It's very important uh, as a, it's a part of composition, right? In the principle. Right? So next example. So it's very important if we give a more uh, pleasant for 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 the audience. Right. Then next is a pattern. Pattern um, it can be it can help uh, with the composition. Uh, if you place subject or any any model uh, in the middle of the the composition, right? It will put it will give a added value in your composition. So this is the arrow shows that the the pattern uh, basically same keep repetition repeat on the image on the building, right? This is another pattern. Same pattern. And then pattern for the building. You can use this, right? Right? Uh, pattern uh, is a repetition uh, from the table and chairs. It also can, it can be as a, as a pattern for, for the composition. Right. So also a pattern. This is also a pattern. So you can see that you can you can you can combine with uh, other element, principle and element. You can combine in one photos. Uh, there's nothing wrong. You, you give more added value for your photos right? and composition. Right. Next is shadow. Right. Shadows are very really important to give a uh, to shows your 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 image uh, out, outstanding and uh, uh, like a 3D form because the shadow will have that, right? Uh, so the shadow also give a uh, it's a values on your photos, which is uh, from shadows to highlight uh, area. So this is like a uh, example for for showing that the shadows really important in the composition. There's another shadows. Right. Right, this is a shadow, uh, which is appear on the building. Shadow also, it will help you with the uh, framing. So you can see that from the shadow, it gives you a shape, good shape, uh, which is we really highlight that to that model or any any kind of subject. Okay. Of shadow uh, based on the uh, harsh like from sunlight all right then next is sense of skills uh, you can see that it's really important to show the, the depth okay uh, foreground and background you can see that circle how big is that uh, the call that what mountain right oh uh, hill uh, at the background so you can see the different uh, sense of skill right and place the the, the subject in front and then the to see the differentiate between front and uh, foreground and background this is also the sense of scales uh, to show the distance the depth right this is three arrow which is foreground uh, which is uh, uh, subject and the other one is a background so this is how we try to show uh, to the audience uh, the the depth This is next uh, based on, based on the space. You can see the the skills, right? This is as well. Foreground and background, uh, subject placed in front of that. Right. Space as well for the uh, sense of uh, skill. Right. Uh, next is symmetry. Symmetry, right? So how we make make it balance in our composition. The good composition uh, photo should be balanced. Huh? The composition should be balanced. Right. Balance and also balance uh, the main subject, the main focus uh, in the middle of the composition. Right. Balance in the architecture. Easy for for us to to get it um, from the building because all the buildings uh, they have a good uh, balance. Uh, element 
Okay, then we move to um, rule of third. Okay, the rule of third use, uses uh, key intersect point and breaks the scene up into third vertically and horizontally in the grid where this line intersect um, the point where you should try to put your main subject. So this is the sample, right? Uh, there is there is two. One is rule of odds, and one another one is a rule of third, uh, which is you can see the intersect between the lines. Uh, the rule of odd, the numbers number one uh, in the first frame uh, on your left is number one, number two in the middle, number three. So we use number number the odd number to 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 compose your 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 subject. So number five. Uh, in the middle so that's why uh, most of our photos we, we like to make it center we put it uh, the subject uh, in the middle of the image so it's a, that's we um, actually we know we we did we we uh, practice that but we didn't you didn't know why we use that so there's a rule of art number five all right so uh, and then after that rule of third how we place the the uh, the image or the subject uh, into in the intersect of the lines uh, because we try to give a room, uh, reading space for another element added in the composition. So for this case, I put the text uh, as a as a as a added uh, element in the photo. Right. So uh, depends on your 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 composition. Depends on your concept and your theme. So uh, if you, you if you plan your shoot and then you know how to place the the image in the composition. Right. This is also rule of third yeah? uh, because we try to show the, the breathing space, the space for, for the composition. And another element which is really important to support the, the subject. Right. That's another one. Right. So you can see that man uh, with the motorbike um, looking at the, the restaurant. So uh, there's, a, there's a, some story about that. So it will give more uh, uh, more space for, for the image to breathe. All right, All right. the golden spiral. Uh, why this is important? Because the golden spiral is another method that people often use to compose a shot. A curve start from the corners and goes across the upper portion of the uh, frame, spiraling towards the middle and the bottom. The concept is that movement and subject should all fall on the curve and your most interesting portion of the frame should line closely with the middle of the sp spiral in the lower quadrant of the frame. So this is the example, right? So how it relate with the background, all right? As we know that the focus on the spiral is uh, the main subject, all right? But uh, what is the subject focus is the, the, uh, the starting point of the spiral. So that's the, the, the connection between why we use the golden spiral for your com for the composition. So this is a theory and then we can practice that in photography as well. This is another example. So golden spiral, uh, which is uh, to the end, it will stop at the face of the kids. All right. All right, golden triangle. All right, golden triangle are used to break the scene up and put emphasis on certain areas of the frame. This involves drawing a diagonal, diagonal line from one corner to another of the image. Uh, and then from that line, two or more lines come from the remaining corners to connect with the uh, together, where the shortest line touch the larger middle line and the area was what is the most interesting part of your composition. So this is like a, it's a formula uh, to see which is the main focus of your photos, all right? You can see this. All right, so this is the image where we place that uh, subject, even though it's not sharp. Okay, some of the uh, some of the uh, subject we are not really focused on that, but we give a hint for that photo as a as a part of the storytelling. So you can see that the the in uh, the subject is placed on that because of the uh, we can see that the the balance uh, to blend with the uh, composition. So this is a golden triangle. All right, another one is a reflection and dynamic foreground. All right, um, refer to as a mi mirror photography is when you see reflective surface to create an artistic echo of the scene. So it's a it's an echo from the image that we are focused. Uh, so we use the reflect reflection. So I think most of us know how, have, 
uh, seen this uh, technique before, right? So reflection is not only capture additional image of the main subject, but you also hold any color from sky, uh, giving you a kind, all kind of added excitement to anime. This is the example. So we can see the shadow, uh, sorry, we can see the, see the reflection, right? Uh, but based on our uh, main focus is on the building. This is as well, all right? So you can see that reflection uh, in water, right? So it gives a different mood, different, uh, it's an echo from that uh, uh, subject, the main objective of the image. All right, uh, also use uh, not only for the water, but we can use uh, for the building, the, any kind of reflect, reflect uh, material on the building, All right? Next is uh, perspective, right? Perspective is a photography, it's defined as sense of depth, or spa, special relationship between object in a photo along with dim dimension with respect to what we were the image sees, right? So this is perspective. Uh, purposely, uh, we create this kind of, because uh, uh, it has to be a specific camera gear uh, to get this kind of perspective, right? right. So this is kind of another example. So this is different perspective, right? All right, leading line. Leading line uh, lines that appear in photographs that have been framed and positioned by the photographer to draw the viewer's eye towards a specific point of interest. Right, this it will help. It will lead uh, the direction of your photos uh, using that line, and then uh, the audience will understand uh, what is the main focus for that photos. Right, these lines often draw a viewer's eyes in specific direction or towards a designated portion of the photograph. This is the example. So we use a leading line to see, to show the, the far background, right? So this is another example. We, see, we can show these photos that that is the uh, uh, background, foreground and background, how far the distance. Right? This is another example. So we can see this, the line, uh, what do you call that? Uh, rail, yeah? Rail. Uh, you can see that uh, there's a leading line which is direct us to see the uh, the crowd in front of the uh, uh, the, the the angle, right? right? You can see that there's a leading line. I can I can draw here. Oh yes, can. I see the. Okay, can I draw here? No. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, uh, if you can see that the frame. Uh, the perspective from that, so you can see that the it's a, a it's a leading line. We can see that which is uh, focused on the uh, the painter, all right. This is also the line, the leading line. You can see the the, the far uh, angle of the photos, and based on the uh, uh, pattern or yep, the pattern of the uh, chair and the table, we can see that this is part of the leading line, which is shows to the audience uh, the main focus of the photo. This is also using the zebra cross to see all the activities. So this is a leading line based on the perspective, right? All right, Vinay. So we, we move to another uh, part, which is uh, the post-processing, which is, which is uh, we try to highlight, uh, enhance the, the image uh, of our photos, all right? So one of the techniques is a vignette, right? Adding a vignette around an image can help you to pull, pull all the eye from the edge towards the middle of the frame and improve your composition. But make sure too much vignette will be, it will, uh, it will uh, destroy your photos uh, because it's too too dark and it doesn't give any, any impact from your uh, focus and your message of the uh, image, right? So this is uh, vignette. You can see that vignette, which is uh, the black area around the photos. All right. All right. This is vignette. Okay. You can see that the, the main focus on the at the center. So I use the vignette, which is a, the uh, post product post process, which is I try to uh, make it uh, the the edge uh, surround that photos uh, in a dark mode. This is also. But don't put too much of it because it will just uh, destroy your your the quality of the photos. Right? 
All right, then after that is cropping. This process is one of the most basic photo manipulation process. This process is performed in order to remove the unwanted subject or irrelevant detail of the photo, change its aspect ratio or to, or to improve the overall composition. All right, so now we have a uh, digital in the our digital uh, era which is much easier because when when you shoot and then you can do the post processing in uh, you can you can crop in computer but if you're using film then you have to crop in the camera uh, which is uh, there's no there's no post process uh, to crop right so uh, this is what we crop in uh, in computer which is in digital era Right. This is a uh, the film shoot, and then you, you need to compose. You need to crop in the camera. Right. Right. This is a uh, uh, digital, so you can you can uh, uh, com uh, crop in 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 digit uh, in computer. Right. In the digital era. Right. Converting to black and white. Right. Uh, this is a post process, which is uh, black and white photography remove any distraction of color and helps the viewer focus. On another aspect of the photo, uh, such as subject, the texture, shapes, and pattern, and the composition. So, some of the image we need, uh, we have to convert in into black and white because we try to see the show the soul, the specific focus. Eh? Probably the texture. Uh, some some of the texture is really good in black and white, All right? Uh, and shapes. Eh? Uh, shape, of course, definitely we need a, a black and white, or we need a, a dark. Uh, 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 shape to show the the shapes uh, element in the photo, right? So this is a uh, black and white, black and white, right? So you can see that the different uh, we give a different mood, uh, different experience uh, if we convert into black and white. Right? So this is black and white. Okay, all right, and then uh, the last segment is, uh, is is the common mistake that we uh, always make uh, while uh, photograph uh, photograph uh, any any kind of scenes because uh, uh, we try to avoid that, uh, and then this is a good tips for uh, for everybody, right? Uh, common mistake: sloppy and busy age, right? Uh, how to avoid that? Crop is the best solution, right? Sloppy or busy age. You can see that. The only focus in in the the center group uh, of the the crowd. So it will be best if you just concentrate and focus on that, and then probably crop on that area, right? So please avoid that. Next is common mistake is a uneven horizontal line. If you can manage in the camera, correct in the post processing. So that's the the tips uh, how to handle it the problem. So if you can. Uh, manage in the camera, which is uh, you can you can make it uh, even the horizontal line. You can you can make it a, uh, the correction in the post processing. But remember, when you you did in post processing, the the image quality will uh, will drop yeah, because of the size will be uh, uh, decreased. Okay. Right, so this is uneven. Uh, if uh, if we uh, send for for the uh, industry, uh, they will look into this. Even though we can see that it's been nearly nearly perfect, but uh, for the for for the commercial, we need really really straight line for the horizontal, right? Uh, as an even um, even image quality, right? And then this as well. Uh, if you are shooting with digital, so much easier if you can you can do the post processing uh, in the post processing. Okay? All right. Common mistake. The next common mistake is subject the focus of frame. Right. Many new photographers are afraid to get right uh, in and fill the frame with their subject. Whenever you shoot, you, sh you should ask yourself what is the image about. What do I like most about where I'm pointing the camera? Then make the image about that. Get closer. Zoom it. So subject focus is really important. You need to focus what is the main subject, which is it can uh, drive your uh, your main objective of the photo, all right? So this is an example. Uh, of course, we need a good camera, uh, camera and gear to get more for for better quality. But if you can manage to get a good gear, but based on your idea, you can manage to get something like this as well. Yeah. The the main thing is uh, the objective and then the idea, how to make it more creative. 
for your accommodation. Right, so this is the so the focus on the the lady. All right. All right. Common mistake. The next common mistake is a uh, scene too busy. Right. Sometimes there can be too so much going on the scene that I feel like a little chaotic. So to fix this, try to different depth of field or use bokeh for the background. All right. So everybody knows about the bokeh. If you're using um, the digital camera, the the DSLR, uh, you are aware about this uh, uh, technique and aware about these effects. All right. So bokeh. Uh, really focus on your subject and let the rest of the scene blur, right? To add the distracting element. Change the angle slightly to eliminate or reduce the distraction. The problem might just be that your composition is too wide, so tighten the frame up a little. Okay, what is your main subject? Okay, keep asking yourself what is the main subject and uh, make an image about what, all right? So for that, okay, so uh, this is like too busy. You need to get close or use this uh, technique of uh, the off field, okay, to get bokeh, uh, which is you can you can uh, remove the uncertain, uh, necessary, unnecessary uh, background, okay. All right, another common mistake understanding the off field, which is you need to understand and just focus a point to the subject, All right? So you just point subject, you can see that uh, uh, the background is in blur or uh, wash out. Yeah, we call it wash out or blur uh, as a background. So the main focus is only for that old guy, right? This is as well. So that painter is the main focus. So use the tear off field technique to eliminate eliminate the the unnecessary uh, unwanted uh, background. Uh, just a, a be uh, the background is just a part of the the added value. Uh, all right, common mistake, next common mistake, foreground too boring, right? Uh, interesting foreground can make or break a composition. Try getting on scene earlier to find the things that will make your foreground more interesting instead of rushing around the light, around later on when the light, the lighting is great, right? So uh, you need to think, you need to plan, uh, uh, use the, the, uh, the, the lighting, use the, any, any kind of, uh, uh, option in the uh, in the in the in that location. So if you have a good lighting, use the good lighting to see the foreground. It's not boring, something like this. So use the lighting as a backlight. Then you can see that the good composition, based, uh, even though it's, it's a backlight, but it's a good composition based on that effect from the lights. So the foreground, uh, of course, we need the good foreground, right? And then a common mistake: subject uh, feels cramped, right? Back up or zoom out. Subject needs some room with the frame to breathe, right? So this is what called breath, uh, breathing space. Try to keep from placing your subject too loose to an edge, right? So you can see the subject. It's a good. Uh, we have a good uh, space for for uh, as, uh, for the background. So you can see that the breathing space. Uh, uh, you can see that the calmness of the uh, image shows, right? So this is the, the another example. Just that guy and the uh, the space that be given by the photographer, right? You can see that the different uh, the space uh, breathing space on that. So that's it. Thank you. Um, any question? Uh, this is my my uh, some of the photos uh, get from the Archipress Moses and uh, uh, my ex uh, company, which is Shutterspeak Studio Malaysia. So. This is um, my experience uh, in photography industry. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Dr. Moh Ashik Bin Desa for uh, the very good insight and presentation about the art in photography. And we will greatly appreciate the question from the audience. If you have any question, you can put that down on the question box on the chat box, or uh, you can just turn on your mic and asking anything to Mr. Dr. Moh Ashik Bin Matesa. Ario, Ario, want to ask something? No. Nice hand. 
or probably uh, you can you can uh, you can PM me. Uh, you can uh, message or uh, through through what kind of platform? Facebook, Facebook or Instagram. You can ask me, and then I can share uh, more details about it. No problem at all. Or you can you, you want to ask here now? Should be should be any problem. You can find me Ashik uh, Ashik uh, Desa in in Instagram or Facebook. Um, okay, uh, Mr. Doctor Mashik, we have one question in the chat box uh, from Sami Ayat. Mm -hmm. uh, he asked about: Do you think that art, especially in terms of photography, is subjective or objective? <laughs> Definitely, is that yeah? That's the first question. All right, thank you, uh, Sami. All right, uh, good question. Uh, sometimes they say that uh, for for the arts, yeah, it's, it's very subjective because uh, uh, there is a different perception yeah? in arts. Uh, def different uh, perception, different uh, content of your expression. So it will give a different uh, result of your photo. But for the uh, for the for the design. Uh, for the industry, uh, for the product shoot, uh, definitely they have uh, some. It's not still not objective, but still still subjective. But they have their own their own flow. They they have their own uh, formula to formulate that that composition. That's it. Uh, what that, that I, sh I shows to you is a is a is a tips uh, or uh, uh, what we can we can compose using the element and principle. That's it. It's not it's not objective, which is you can you have to use that, but it's a, it will help you a lot. Uh, during the composition. All right. Yeah, it's like uh, Sami Ayad has been uh, satisfied with the answer. Sammy. Is it any question? You can just raise your hand and turn on your mic. I think Ario want to ask a question to the Sure, sure. Ario, Ario, <laughs> uh, because he has raised hand in the Zoom meeting. <laughs> All right. Ario, you can turn on your mic or just put a question on the chat box. Are you maybe have got trouble with the connection, doctor? Yeah, I guess he had a little bit problem with the connection. He's still on mute. <laughs> so maybe anyone else? I think it's enough. Thank you so much, Dr. Asik. No problem. Thank you for the, all of your the example Facebook. are very nice. Then finally, I know some of technique in photography. I always see and um, a big fan of your photo on best book. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Asik. Thank I think you. it's enough, Hilda. We move to the next agenda. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Dr. Mo Ashik bin Matdesa, who had been given us uh, a lot of knowledge, new knowledge and insight about the art in photography. And uh, maybe this is the most um, excited moment right now because uh, today cannot have been possible without our ICC 2021 participants. So we are delighted to welcome the presence of our con uh, contestant. And then please give a big round of applause for all the top 10 of the newscasting and the top 10 photography contestants. And shall we um, see them?
the top 10 of the newest casting and the top 10 of the photographic contestants. Thank you so much for the top 10 nominee who have given their time, effort, dedication, and thank you so much uh, for also the judges and the committee. And I can see that everyone is um, a little bit nervous and like uh, this is the finally uh, the long way to time that will come soon, which is the announcement of the winner. And don't worry everyone, Stay calm, breathe, and before we hand out the awards, let's welcome our generous judges who will announce uh, the winner for the newscasting first, Mrs. Marta Trilastari, ESOS MM. The floor is yours. Okay, thank you, Hilda. Good afternoon, everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera uh, for all of us. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Marta Trelstari. As one of the judge from the news competition at uh, the International Creativity Competition or ICC 2021. Uh, Ibu ke mute, Bu. Sorry. Please allow me to read out the winners who were chosen as the best of the best. Previously, I would like to thank you for uh, Mrs. Iis Kurnia Nurhayati, SS Kum, as a director of PSAL and also as a judge too, and Mr. Freddy Yusanto as a judge uh, of the newscasting too, and also to Mrs. Dr. Ira Mirasari as postgraduate manager and Ichao, and of course, Mrs. Chut Irna as a chairman of ICC 2021. Okay, let me read out the winners from the news competition, assess based on, uh, from the time of a viral news from around the world. And we have uh, give assessment from the first one from style, a report for, with the audience, and no distracting manners, appealing presentation, and appropriate appropriate apparel and from the item of delivery from opening until closing and quality 
and variety, pronunciation, inflection, enunciation, proper emphasis, projection and control, appropriate volume, no distracting vocal manner, and chosen topic. And the last one, of course, the body language from eye contact and hand gesture and restrain and good taste, posture and pace. Okay, here we come. From the third one, with the title of the news is Indonesian Submarine KRI. From Ranti Irjayani, University of Lampung. Yay! Yay! Give applause, <laughs> a virtual applause, please. <laughs> okay. And the second one from the title of news is a viral news all around the world from Amirah Dinda Azahra from Brawijaya University. Okay, Amirah. Okay. Okay. And then the first one, can I get the back sound? Ding, ding, ding. Okay. <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Our okay. mistake, we don't prepare drum roll. Okay. Drum that. <laughs> okay, for the first winner from the newscasting on ICC 2021, from the title of news is World Viral News During Pandemic. Is Isfahani Sarah Shahida from Politeknik Negeri Bandung. Give her applause, please. Congratulations, congratulations for, for all the winner. Thank you. Okay, for all the winners, congratulations, and maybe uh, we can see you again in the next uh, ICC, maybe 2022, Miss Cutirna. Okay. Okay, so congratulations, and I say uh, thank you for uh, with uh, all of judge here, and say thank you, and stay healthy and stay safety. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you, Ibu Marta. Thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Marta, who had announced the winner in this casting. Welcome back to the BBC World News with latest report from all around the world and for today's edition, May 30, 2021. The first news we have. India has added around 8 million new cases since the end of March in a feral serious new wave blame on virus variants and the government has been allowed Good morning, Indonesia. Welcome to ICC World News. I am Isfahani Sarah. First up today, we are traveling to India. India's daily COVID-19 death toll surpassed 4,000 for the first time on Saturday, with Tamil Nadu becoming the latest state to announce. Congratulations once again for the winners of the news casting category. And I can see that there's a lot of um, happy face here. Everyone is so excited. And um, maybe we're going to move to the next winner of the announcement of uh, the photography category. Uh, please welcome Dr. Uh, Asik bin Matdesa will announce the winner. Okay, thank you, MC. All right, so now it's for the category of uh, uh, photography, right? So there's a three uh, judges in that uh, for the photography uh, competition of ICC 2020. Oh, they're menang, Aren. Me, myself, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Ira, and uh, Mrs. Siti Densita. Right. So based on the criteria that we evaluate, uh, the originality, the uniqueness of the work, uh, the idea, vocabulary, 
uh, plot caption, the impact, easy to understand, uh, uh, visualization, and the final one is editing. So uh, it's really hard for us to, to, to give a marks because of all the, the uh, participants, really good, uh, really talented in, in terms of uh, producing a good uh, photos. All right. So uh, now is the time to, for me to announce all right, for the third place. All right. Okay, can we can we start now? <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, for the third place, uh, the uh, from university, uh, uh, sorry, from some uh, yeah from University Jamia Milia Is Islamia, New Delhi, India. The title of the photo, the shining smile of Islam, uh, goes to Kaif Ali. Wait, wait, wait. Not video, not video yet. Not video yet. <laughs> okay. Can wait, yeah. Can wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And go on, then, okay. We go. We go to second place. All right. Uh, uh, from Military Institute of Science and Technology, Miss 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 uh, Bangladesh. Uh, the title of the photo is "Peaceful Sleep." Uh, goes to Rokib Udin. I know, I know. Rakib has a heart. Yeah, congratulations to Rakib and Kaif. And the final, uh, the winner is uh, coming from Ebony State University, Nigeria. The title of Self Love goes to Ario James Uchina. Congratulations. Yay, Ario. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to connect with you. <laughs> Finally, thank you, doctor. All right, no problem. Thank you so much. Congratulations to all winners. Thank you, Telcom. Congratulations for everyone. Uh, I think everyone in this uh, room is a winner for ourselves. And let's give a round of applause uh, to our judges and the winners, of course, for all of their expertise, dedication, and hard work today as they make uh, their way up to the front uh, for the presentation of awards. Now, what if we hear a little bit of impression from the winner? Maybe the first winner uh, should uh, come up and say a little uh, bit of impression about ICC 2021. Maybe we could start with the newscasting, shall we? Yeah, sure. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I am Isfahan Bisara from Polytechnic Negeri Bandung. Uh, I want to thank Telkom University for the opportunity for us university students uh, to compete internationally. Uh, I noticed that I personally enhanced uh, my skills and creativity through this competition. Uh, therefore, it's such an honor for me to be the winner. Uh, for the future, I hope that this competition will be known uh, more popularly among uh, students around the world. Once again, thank you very much. Thank you so much um, for uh, such a warm words. Now uh, we shall hear from the winner of the photography. Ario, 
Do you still have a uh, problem? Just open up your your microphone. Gus, dibuka aja Gus, di unmute. Hello. Finally. <laughs> I'm Ariel James Chenna from Nigeria Ebon State University. I'm very, 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 very happy. I don't even know how to express my happiness right now. And it's a wonderful opportunity for ICC to give me this opportunity to express myself and my art. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yes, congratulations, everyone, and especially Ario, and uh, it's the first winner of the newscasting before. Okay. Now, we are going to uh, maybe give time for uh, Mrs. Vira, Vira Sari. Okay, thank you, Hilda. Uh, congratulations for all the winners and uh, for the all participants, uh, you are all the winners. <laughs> I would like to say thank you so much to ICAO, Ichao team, Bu Irna, Bu Chut Irna and team, who have worked hard to carry out this event. Thank you also based on our institution, Delcom University, which has supported the full implementation of this event. No more important to we say thank you to all of the all the judges, Dr. Muhammad Ashik, uh, Dr. Iis, uh, Mr. Freddy, uh, Ibu Marta, and Ibu Siti Desinta, and all participants who have participated in the International Creativity Competition 2021. Uh, we as a community organizer apologize if there are any flaws in the execution of this event. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon. And see you at ICC 2022. Back to you, Hilda. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Ira. As we all knew that every journey has its end and every path does stop somewhere. So thank you all for being such a great audience today and such a great uh, participant for ICC 2021 and for bringing your gracious professionalism in newscasting and also in photography, supporting the next generation creativity works and making this uh, an excellent competition and celebration. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, wraps up our event today. On behalf of International Class Academic Office, ICAO Takam University, we would like to say thank you uh, for you all for making time in your busy schedules to join us today and wish you all have a pleasant day. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Shalom swastiastu namo buddhaya. Dr. Ashik, thank you very much, doctor. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much. Thank you, Telkom. Thank you. Thank you. Bu Marta, terima kasih ya, Bu. Atur nuhun, Bu Ira, sami-sami. Bu Tata, terima kasih. Maybe we can play the video again for the winner. Atau langsung end aja, Gus. <laughs> Udah sore. <laughs> terima kasih banyak, Bu Ira. Ya, terima kasih, Bu Marta. Terima kasih. Semuanya sama-sama, Bu. Izin leave. Hatur nuhun. Iya, Bu. Semuanya. Iya, Bu. Sehat-sehat semuanya. Congratulations, Ario. Congratulations, everyone. Kak I. Ario. Ario. So hard to connect with Ario, Bu. Because Ario, in a far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you ya Bu Inong, Mbak Hanan, Mas Bagus, Badila ya. 
uh, salam dari Bu Iis, tidak bisa ikut sampai akhir karena ada rapat, tapi katanya good job. <laughs> Oke, <Okay. laughs> makasih Bu. Yep. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye Aryo, see you at ICC 2022 ya. Oke. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, <laughs> Di N aja Gus Ari kayaknya kalau nggak N 